ask our guest star to introduce some special young ladies. Here's Buddy Greco. Each year, the pageant is honored to welcome back former Miss USA's as our guest. I'd like to present them to you now. First, Miss USA of 1961 from Louisiana, Miss Sharon Brown. Miss USA of 1965, Ohio's Sue Ann Downey. Thank you, and here's Bob Barker with a surprise for you. Robert? A surprise indeed. You know, uh, the rehearsals for this television show have not been all work and no play. And during some of the play periods, we discovered that our girls actually sing and dance pretty well. So well that we'd like to include them in the show. We thought we'd write a production number for them, which we have done. We put it together very quickly, but I think it'll be fun. Of course, we had to explain that if a girl should be chosen among the 15 semifinalists, she couldn't perform, and so if you see a dancer kind of looking for a girl who isn't there, she's back among the semifinalists getting dressed in her evening gown. In any event, it's a pleasure for me to present the first time in the history of the Miss USA beauty pageant, the Miss USA talent presentation. <laughs> the greatest things I've ever seen. Thank you, girl. Thank you so much. I have a very important award to make now. It's important because the girls vote this award themselves. When they arrive here in Miami Beach, of course, they're complete strangers. But during the week, they get to know each other very well. By the end of the week, they agree that one girl is more friendly, more cooperative, more helpful. And this year, the girls themselves have voted the winner of the Friendship Award and the title of Miss Unity to Miss Idaho, Sandra Baldwin. Here she is. Sandra, here's the beautiful trophy for your award. There you are. Thank you. And one of the girls at the pageant told me that you're about to be married or that you're engaged. Yes, I am. I'm engaged to Steve Black. He's in Vietnam right now. May I suggest that you keep this. If in the future you ever have an argument with Steve, bring it out and prove that any problem is his fault. You're basically friendly. Oh, well, thank you. I will. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. the girls prepare for the evening gown competition, at the end of which we will have our five finalists, I would like to introduce again the young lady who has served our country so well. 
Here's the reigning Miss USA, Maria Romagna. Thank you for your warm welcome. Throughout the past year, I have been asked two questions more than any others. What is it really like being Miss USA? And what has the year meant to you? Only now that my reign is moments away from its end can I really answer these questions. Being Miss USA is a wondrous responsibility. It is being continually aware that I'm speaking and acting not merely for myself, but as a symbol of young ideas, ambitions, and enthusiasms in our country. Having come here 10 years ago from a land which offers neither the freedom nor the opportunity of the United States, I have felt this responsibility deeply. I, have, I hope I have lived up to this honor. As for the second question, what has this year meant to me? It has meant the fulfillment I have found in the friends I have made, the places I have visited, the deeper understanding I have gained of myself, of my fellow men, and of life itself. You have my heartfelt appreciation for a truly beautiful year. Thank you. opportunity to travel and to meet prominent and interesting people all over the world. And speaking of people, there's an audience here tonight of over 3,000 people in the auditorium. Right next to the runway is the celebrity circle with special guests of the pageant. And on the other side of the runway are the representatives of the press from 45 states, wire services, and overseas. And you at home are part of our television audience of about 16 million people, all trying to guess who the judges are going to choose as the five finalists. And now, a word from the cleaner that can make your kitchen floor.